Hi, and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you're new, hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a regular viewer coming back, welcome back. It's been a couple of weeks since I filmed something, and isn't it always the case that I'll do a few videos in a row, get into the rhythm of YouTube once again, and say I'm going to post regular content, and then I get wickedly sidetracked into one of my other projects and just can't be bothered to upload. So I felt like kind of touching base and letting you know what I've been up to and explaining myself a bit. I feel like the channels I subscribe to, I love watching Bailey Sarian who does Murder Mystery and Makeup Mondays. I love watching quite a few journaling channels, crafters who inspire me with the junk journals that they make. I've noticed that all of my favorite channels upload really regularly, like at least one video a week, sometimes more than that. And I've been wondering why am I just not motivated to do YouTube videos? And I think I figured out the reason. It's that when I first started this YouTube channel, my primary focus for making videos was to share guided meditations, to talk about India, to talk about the fraud who I then believed was a guru who I was following. And so I was doing regular videos because I had built up a subscriber base who really resonated with what I was into at that point in time. And if you've been a subscriber of mine for a while, you'll know that this channel has seen all kinds of twists and turns because my life has seen all kinds of twists and turns. So moves from tarot reading full time to making jewelry and selling on Etsy full time to moving to India and becoming a Hindu nun full time and promoting nothing but the aesthetic lifestyle to makeup tutorials to vegan recipes. I've kind of been all over the map when it comes to my interests. And what I kind of noticed is a steady decline in views and in subscribers because I feel like a lot of the people who resonated with the stuff I used to be into just aren't that into crafts that I've been doing lately or draw with me style art videos that I started doing just over a year ago. And I've noticed when I do interviews with people who also escaped the cult that I left, those videos get the highest numbers of views. And don't worry, there's another one coming soon if that's what you're into. But when I get into the more crafty side of my life and start sharing information about gemstones and the beads that I'm working with and like the jewelry that I'm making or my latest passion, journals that I've been hand making, there are just aren't as many views as there used to be when I would do more like quote unquote spiritual content. And so I've made a decision to start a second YouTube channel that's going to be nothing but my craft shares. So tips and techniques for how to make junk journals, or as my mom has come up with the term to call them, junkless journals, because the materials are actually high quality and you know junk journals eh, i'll get into that later but i'm going to start a new channel it's going to be called junkless journals and there i'm feeling like i'll have the motivation to upload regular content because building a new channel totally from scratch with no subscribers yet just sharing what i'm into now Hopefully that channel will attract like-minded people who resonate with the path that I am currently on instead of people feeling like I pulled a bait and switch on them where I went from talking about Hinduism and the conspiracy against enlightenment and water fluoridation and suddenly now I'm trying to sell my handicrafts. So for those who have complained, you're welcome. I'm doing this change 
specifically because I am so sick and tired of seeing people criticize my content because they came here for one thing and now I'm offering something else instead. But I felt like making this video as a little courtesy notification for those who are into paper crafts and journaling and jewelry making who might be curious about the more artsy craftsy content I will share the link to my new channel in the video description and on that channel you can expect to see flip throughs of these three journals that I made recently that I'm very proud of and maybe some process videos for finishing one that I just started making maybe also a flip through of this beauty this one took me quite a while to put together I call it the flight of the phoenix and it symbolizes transformation and rebirth just like a phoenix emerging out of the ashes of what it used to be renewed and even better so that's what I kind of feel like this new channel of mine is going to be I've gone through a lot over the past decades I've been on YouTube but I feel stronger more confident more secure in myself more creative and quite frankly, more inspired as a creator and as a maker of unique crafted things that I do want to share it. You know, whenever I go off YouTube for a while, it's not because I resent YouTube or don't feel like doing videos. It's more because I have been diverted into crafting and I'm making something and I don't want to break my artistic flow in order to sit down and film something. Uh, but like I said, a lot of my favorite YouTubers share craft with me videos and inspiration videos for the things they're working on. And while I've had the idea to do videos like that, I know that this channel just isn't the platform for them. So yeah, check out the link in the video description to my new channel. It is coming very soon. There might already be videos flipping through these books by the time you click on it. And in the meantime, these books are going to be listed in my Etsy shop, Art of Gems Stationery, and I'll put the link to that in the video description as well. So that doesn't mean that I am closing this channel or that I won't be making new content here. Like I said, I've got an interview with somebody else who escaped the cult I was in coming up soon. I'm just waiting for some of the smoke haze and the low air quality to clear up where I am. It's hard to do an interview video when the air quality is so poor because it's hard to talk for an hour or more, which those interviews tend to be, without starting to cough or feeling my throat close up. So yeah, just send your positive vibes up Canada's way that the forest fires can be put out and that our air will be back to the pristine Canadian breathable air that we've all grown to love here. And yeah, you can still expect content on this channel. I just won't do my videos of flipping through journals on this channel anymore. There's a new home for that and I look forward to hearing your feedback. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for joining me on this channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which shouldn't be too long from now. Much love. I hope you're enjoying your summer and we'll see you soon. Bye.